than like the sort of skyline in the cemetery of change, you know. God, you know, about 24 gravestones being cocked over and smashed to pieces, you know. It's about 10,000 pounds worth of damage, you know. Um, what sort of people are these who can come around and shove over things like that that have been stood there for a 100 years and just smash them to pieces, you know. They're evidently more than children, you know, for shove a stone over like that. You know, in the stages of early manhood, the thing is that they're either, either out of work and very unhappy and, and have a grudge against society as, you know, as we or did know it, you know, all nice and peaceful and proper. And, you know, they just want to disrupt everything that they can bloody lay their hands on that's disruptable, you know. Why, well, why, you know, have we gone like this now? Because things were really bad in the 1930s, you know, people were actually hungry. You know, none of these people are hungry and have no bloody shoes. And yet them, them fellas in 1930, they didn't do it, did they? Um, sort of it, it, you know, I don't know. The thing is, they lived in a world full of bloody fear. They knew if they did the wrong thing, it'd be trouble. And now they have no fear of anything, you know. I mean, we've, I think we've definitely gone too bloody soft. You know, without a doubt, I mean, poor little Johnny couldn't help it, you know, he's under a lot of stress and this, that, and the other. I mean, bloody Ayatollah, if you pinch a loaf of bread there, like, bang, you know, it's the whole finger off, you know, and I think if they did a bit of that here, like, the uh, things would be a bit straighter. I mean, Isle of Man, the vandalism there, when they had the butch, were, I believe, you know, I'm on, this is only what I've read in papers, were practically non-existent, and now, you know, the wonderful bloody common market job, they've been stopped using it, you know, I can't do it no more, you know, because the common market says so. Um, you know, it is, it'll never get any better until they bloody fire them into line, you know, like National Service or something like that. But, I mean, there's all these arguments against it, but the people who argue against it never come up with a bloody solution, do they? Never. You know, it just goes steadily worse day by day. Um, so what can you do? Well, there's a lot to be said for the olden days, I say, you know, and how they did things. Um, you were better craftsmen, you know, better at everything, really. Um, had more respect for property and, and, and things of that nature. Uh, now they have no respect for nothing. You know, all they want is a life of bloody pleasure. Uh, difficult. <laughs>